Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen with Alpha 3.21.1 on the first wave PTU. We are checking out the Argo SRV, the tractor beam tow ship. It is uh, in game at the moment. It's not fully functional, or at least there are there are some bugs with it. It will be able to tow ships and move cargo and that sort of stuff. This tractor beam is deployable, but very, very broken. Um, it, as in, I will not show you it working at the moment because the sound is terrible and there are some other weird bugs to it. But um, yeah, check out our Spirit C1 video if you're interested in that. And we will have a video out on um, 3.22 and 3.21.1 um, shortly as well. But um, yeah, let's jump into this one. Ship scale tractor beams are in, uh, as I said. Um, this... <laughs> They are a bit buggy at the moment, so it's first wave PTU, there's a lot of bugs going on. The I will not subject you to the audio issue of activating the tractor beam here, um, but you will be able to, and I will show off at some point, the ability to tow ships and multiple tractor beams being able to interact um, with a single um, target. Um, so it is pretty cool, but um, we will look at that another time when it is a, a bit less buggy. But this is the SRV. We'll be doing a little tour of it. All right. You are able to control that large rear tractor beam from the pilot seat. You basically go into remote turret mode. Let me actually show you. Go into, uh, into remote turrets. And then you are able to control that. So I'm pressing Z to zoom in. Uh, then you're able to control, control that rear turret to lock on or tow or do whatever you want it to do. Um, and then you will um, go back into the the main seat afterwards, um, out of the, the remote turret, and then you can fly your ship and it will still remain um, attached. So you can do all your cargo business uh, and then fly off um, while still towing and all that sort of jazz. It's a very simple, very industrial looking ship. That's what Argo do. Um, it's still classified as a medium ship, I believe. Um, it's not huge, but it's certainly not small. Let's get out of the actual main pilot chair. Um, so we've got some computery stuff. What is this? What is this for? It looks like a charging station for a weapon or a battery or something. But I'm not actually too sure what that is, other than a light. Then we move towards the rear, um, and in its own little section is a variety of ship components. Now, again, some of these might be here, but they are effectively placeholder until they've got the um, resource management system and physicalized components in properly. You've got loads of your components here. So, yeah, huge array of components, just fixable, changeable, movable, uh, and enough room to be able to do your sort of ship maintenance because it is effectively a solo ship lift am I in the lift I'm in the lift okay so <laughs> there's a lift that goes down as we've now discovered oh well that being in the atmosphere does not make me feel safe while in the lift let's go back up it's got a little lift you can potentially do some small amounts of cargo and people in and move you up and down and then moving into the, again, rear section of the ship with um, the hab section, it says. That can be closed off and uh, unlocked. Boop. Let's close that door. Um, you've got a little kitchenette, a little food dispensary thing. We've got a bed for you to um, sit in and sleep in. Uh, and we've got seats. We've got seats for two. So we also have what appears to be... A suit locker, which makes sense. A armory sort of area. I say an armory. A gun rack um, for um, quite a, a load of weapons. Um, and you also have your shower toilet combo. So again, it's not a. Um, there's lots of little bugs with this this build for 3.21.1 on the PT at the moment. I, it's quite spacious, nice little living area. Um, I suppose you could run it with a, an extra person on board briefly, or you're out and about and you want to bring a little bit of cargo back, or um, you don't want to rescue someone while you're uh, tractoring their ship. Yeah, so you're tractoring a, a ship, 
you've rescued. So someone else can sit in your ship and chill out in the back. I suppose. But yeah, I, absolutely great for uh, in terms of utility. This is going to allow you to tow ships, but it's also going to help you with cargo. It's going to help with uh, mining and salvage gameplay, uh, sort of bringing um, sections of, or if not ships, to um, salvage ships, stuff like that. Especially with salvage munching coming in 3.22, this is really, really welcome. And it's not just the Argo SRV that has its tractor beam. The C1 does as well, and a load of other ships like the Cutlass Black, uh, for example. Um, all getting their tractor beams in this 3.21.1 patch. Although, as I said, at the moment, very buggy. And if I try and activate that tractor beam at the back at the, back at the moment, it goes... Bah! It does a horrible, horrible sound. And um, much more horrible than I showed that. But yeah, really cool ship. So I've got some very powerful thrusters. You can see that bright glow from lots and lots and lots of thrust going on. Very awesome ship. I am really interested to know if you have an Argo SRV or a Spirit C1. And these should be available in-game, I believe, in the... Oh. I, for some reason... Wow, my mouse disconnected. So these ships should be available to purchase in-game in the Q1 2024 um, build. Um, it's possible they'll release them at the end of Q4, but Cloud and PM have a, a, at least a three-month exclusivity period for newly viable ships. Um, but tractor beams on other ships should be available. And uh, yeah, very cool ships to be adding to the game. 3.21.1 patch, though a little buggy. Has got some fantastic features in as well. Check out my video on that. And tell me what you think of the ships, SRV, C1. Have you got them? Are you getting them? Do, do you want them? Tell me in the comments below. What is best in life? To crush your enemies? To see them driven before you? And to hear the lamentations of their women? No, of course not. It's NordVPN. I never saw Conan the Barbarian checking his bank balance and then watching some cool shows on Netflix, all while protecting his privacy and being super secure. To be honest, I can't even remember Conan wearing a shirt. Silly Conan. And now, a big old snake god's got your internet history. Good job. Don't be a Conan the Barbarian. Check out NordVPN. Links below for powerful discounts too. Every month we've been giving away a ship for Star Citizen, but for November, to celebrate the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo 2953, we are giving away a load of different ships, each to a different person. The Avenger Titan, the Drake Cutter, the C8X Pisces, the Mustang Alpha, and the Nomad. All great starter ships, but also useful for any fleet. They all come with a game package and lifetime insurance. That's all you need to start playing Star Citizen. That's five prizes and five chances to win. Just comment on any of my videos made during November to be in for a chance of winning. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that goes the extra mile in supporting the channel via Patreon or the join button under my videos and then becoming a channel member. Please consider joining those fabulous people as well. It allows us to make daily content for Star Citizen and Squadron 42, delving into all the news, drama, development info, and gameplay that these games have to offer. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the verse.